Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I want to show you a new feature. Uh, until now, it was possible to add forms in a team meeting. Um, there's a new option that you see now, which is called World, World Cloud Poll. And I want to show you how it works and how to add it. So actually, uh, the, what we need to do is to organize a new meeting. I have two users here so you can see the experience. Uh, one is myself, Ami, the other one is Alex. So I will create a new meeting, let's call it a demo, and I will invite Alex. <coughs> I'll press the send key. Now I will enter in the edit mode. Now I can click the plus. And I will search for forms. Here we go. I can press add. And in addition, I will press save. In addition to the two existing one, here I'll now create a new poll. Uh, until now, there was a choice poll which was just like a survey, one question with multiple answers. There was a quiz choice, and now we have a, a word cloud poll. So, actually, we can choose that. We can also uh, choose a predefined one. Let's choose. Let's ask, where are you from? Okay, I can define if uh, to share the word with the respondents, to keep uh, the response anonymous, or to allow others to, to co-author. That's just press save. Now this is how it looks, and uh, we can decide if to launch it or not. Let's go into the meeting and see how it works. Okay, so on the left we will, we will have one user, which is the presenter or organizer. On the right we will see the other user. Okay, good. So let's start. So actually, as the organizer, I will go and click the form tab and I can launch the form. Okay, the other user will receive also the poll. I will start and I will write, let's say, uh, Israel. And submit it. Now the other user sees that option and he can decide if to enter something else. Let's say he writes USA. He submits it and now the other user sees that as well. Uh, if I hover um, on the response in both users, I see how many users have uh, responded for each option. Uh, the strange thing is that it lets you, each user, to enter multiple values. So if I write, for instance, USA, the other user will see USA, but he will see two answers of USA. And if this user writes Israel and submits it, so it doesn't limit the user in one answer. And here, I guess, uh, I wonder, just to test, the more answers uh, you enter, uh, it should also show uh, larger. So let's write USA again. Let's see that the, the amount of response that's uh, the most should show the, the largest uh, 
font of the yeah it seems like it's like that let's do it last more time so actually this is something i'm currently in public preview so it might not be yet in uh, the ga general availability but it should come um, in a month or something like that so um, go check it and enjoy yes this is gonna uh, some some comments about it one thing is that um, it's not possible currently to predefine uh, possibilities uh, I would uh, like that I could also choose from the possibility that are here and not to type because if I type a uh, USSR by mistake I, I have a typo then it's a separate answer so um, I would like the possibility uh, to limit the amount of response that each one can respond once um, then he could choose from existing and just mark it um, and if I think of something else then I'll, I'll let you know okay so go check it and have a good day